Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. Actually, recently I visited one of my friend's place and he deals in personal computers, laptops and other devices, printers and accessories for all these devices. Actually, he gave me three devices and this is the second video, second device and actually what happened? This device, it's a main board, motherboard of a personal computer, desktop computer. This main board it has fault that whenever it turns off the lap, the turns off the desktop and the next day morning when he switches it on the BIOS is resetting by itself. Even after replacing the battery, BIOS battery, he is facing the same problem. So let's check what's the fault and just solve this one. I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed, hit the like icon and share the video. Watch the video till the end. Let's continue with the video. This is the main port. Check for the voltage on the back side of the main board. The battery is new on. So let's check it. As we can see, it's not showing any voltage. The voltage is zero. So let me remove the battery and check the con connected continuity from battery terminal to backside of main board there is continuity as we can see the resistance is zero and between two both the terminals there is no shortage there is no short circuit and now let me check the battery voltage as we can see the battery is good it is 3 volts connectivity of the battery holder is good terminals are good but still we are not getting voltage as we can see here, I have inserted the good battery, but still there is no voltage on the back side of my board. Voltage is only 0 0.010. So now, what we need to do is remove the battery, bias battery, then just bend the center terminal in the middle. As you can see here, in this way, with the tweezer, just bend it a bit. Actually, what happens is the center terminal when you insert the battery it is getting stuck in between the groove provided in the center and there is no connectivity now let's insert the battery and check it again after inserting the battery as we can see on the back side the voltage is good now the connectivity is good hope this video is going to be helpful for you in solving the main problem Thank you for watching everyone, have a good time.